What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thank you for joining us and if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today on the review table, I have the Mayono AU AM100 All-in-One Podcast Studio. This is very similar to another Mayono product I looked at in the past, actually another podcast studio, the smaller and successor AM200. This is the original, this is the flagship, this is the one that was honored uh, as an honoree at the CES Innovation Awards. And this is an all-in-one solution for people that are looking to start a podcast, record better audio for their YouTube videos or their streaming content. Uh, and it's really full featured. It has a ton of awesome benefits and features and uh, things that they throw in the box. Really, this is all anyone would need to get started with podcasting. And today, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you everything that comes inside. I'm gonna show you all the different features of this product, give you a little test of it, and let you know my thoughts. Now, before we get started, if you haven't, I would love to have you become a subscriber hit the notification bell so that I can uh, help grow this channel and you can keep getting awesome product reviews. So we won't waste any more time. Let's take a look at this Mayono AU AM100. So first things first, I always start with the packaging and this is very similar, just like the other uh, Mayono podcast uh, review I did in the past. It comes in a really nice, glossy, full color box. This looks like something you would pick up in any retail store, Best Buy, Walmart. And for buying something on Amazon, you know, that's important to me. It means that the company cares a lot about about how their product is presented. Uh, you've got tons of information on the side about what's included in the box, all of the features, the specs. Uh, it really just feels professional and extremely well packaged. There's not really any um, loose objects in here. You'll see once we open it up, it comes very well packaged. So I'm gonna actually open this up and I'm gonna lift it up so that you can see. Now the first thing you're gonna see on the top of the box is this letter. This is a letter uh, from the founder and CEO, his name is Alex. He talks about how this product got started. It was actually a Kickstarter campaign, um, how this came to be. And it, I really like this kind of personal touch, a letter from you know the CEO, uh, that's cool to me. They also include a little card here. If you have any problems, they've got really attentive customer service. You can talk to them uh, in an instant. And then uh, underneath that, they have these, instead of a product manual, they have these really large, um, slick, gloss, thick cardstock sheets that give you an overview, uh, an overview of the product. They tell you how to connect it to your laptop. Uh, they have a detailed description of all of the different buttons and knobs, um, all of the inputs and outputs on the back. And then they also have different um, diagrams for how you can connect this product. And I really like this. This is a quick reference if you need to look at how to set this up. If you've ever used any sort of USB microphone or even a USB keyboard or mouse, it's all plug and play. So there's not really a ton you need to know, but if you are confused about how to set up different parts of the system, you can look right here. And then the last thing in the box before we get down to the actual products, they include two of these little um, dry erase boards for the sample pads. We're gonna talk about the sample pads in a minute, but because you can assign your own sounds to them, you can actually write in these little boxes what each um, sample is so that you know when you trigger it. So that's really nice to have. Now, underneath all of that documentation, you'll see foam. This is extremely well packaged. And the first things first, you're gonna notice the unit right there sitting on top. So if I pull that out, we're gonna take a look at all this in depth. It's got a really nice weight to it, but it's also compact, really good matte housing, uh, some cool like uh, design here on the side. The top is not complicated. I'm gonna pull off this piece here off that sticker. You'll see you've got your master volume, a couple knobs. We're going to go over those in a minute. And uh, on the back, you've got all of your inputs and outputs. Now we'll go over these right now. You've got two XLR inputs, and this is a big difference from the AM200 that I looked at before. These XLR inputs in my mind are more professional. Most microphones uh, in use in the professional world have XLR connections. And so it's really important to have those. It's just a more, uh, noise-free connection and it's just the standard. So I like to see that. They're combo jacks so you can put a quarter inch cable in there as well, but they're not the small little headphone jacks that we saw in the other Mayono product. Um, aside from that, I'm just gonna read these off to you. These are all 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter headphone jack type uh, inputs. You have a second uh, mic 2B input, so if you wanna use that small connection, you can. You have a phone input if you wanna hook your phone up to this to play music uh, and take phone calls. 
You have an aux input, another place to play music. Uh, podcast one and podcast two output, that is to send the signal to some cell phones or tablets or what, what have you. You can broadcast your uh, microphones and your sound effects out to two different live streaming devices. There is also a monitor speaker output, so if you have monitors in your studio or your office, wherever you're recording, and you wanna monitor through that, you can do that as well. Then there's a USB-C, so you can hook this up to your computer and record the audio to your computer. Uh, there is a denoise switch, so if you want this to apply some noise cancellation, you can flick that and it will help filter out background noise. The power button is right here, and below the power button you have loop back, which we'll talk about a little bit later. The only other inputs or outputs are on the front. There are two monitors, monitor one and monitor two, and that's for headphones. So if you and one podcast guest want to wear headphones while you record so you can hear your levels, you can do that with those outputs on the front. Now, uh, one of the really cool things about this, and we'll talk about it a little bit more, is that this unit has an internal battery. So holding that power button, this is gonna power up, and you can't really see it in the studio lights. So you'll see it a little bit better, but that's turned on now. And so you can take this on the go, which is awesome. If you want to podcast remotely, on location, you don't need to plug this in. You can charge it up and take it with you. I haven't seen that in very many podcast studios at all. So one at this price point, that's a really cool feature to see. I'm going to power that back down because we're going to talk about this in a moment. Now, also included in the box, USB-C cable, okay, to connect to your computer for recording, as well as an, let me pull this out, an audio cable, which is going to be your aux input to hook up any external music, sound effects, whatever you ha uh, want. So removing the foam, big thick foam, they pack it in, it, it's packaged in, it's really well done. Down here we have the included microphone. They do include a condenser microphone in the box and you're gonna get all the accessories you need for that. So you have a nice solid heavy base to put the microphone on. You have a windscreen, um, to, you know, excess breath sounds. If you're in a windy environment like your own location like I talked about, you can do that. Here's the little stand that screws in to the base. Um, you should be able to figure that out. Very easy, righty tighty. Um, they include a nice thick hefty, you know, XLR cable. I've seen a lot of companies skimp on these, but this feels really nice. Uh, good matte black connectors and uh, a good length. I believe this is at least six, probably 10 feet. Um, lots of good distance there. Uh, there's a shock mount for the microphone to reduce vibrations from your desk or whatever surface you're setting it on. And then they have the microphone itself. And I want to talk about this for a moment. You're going to get to hear it a little bit later on. But this is a condenser microphone. Now, condenser microphones are more suited for the studio, for podcasting type stuff. They pick up a nice, more, a more balanced, natural sound. Uh, they're a little more sensitive. That's why you don't see them in live settings as much. But they are preferred for recording and for studio use. And so this feels heavy and nice. All metal feels very solid. Even the grills are metal. And uh, this will just go in the shock mount. It can sit on your desk. You could also buy like an external boom arm mount if you wanted, but most people will be fine just with the desktop uh, mount. And we're gonna get to hear how this sounds, but construction wise, it feels amazing and I'm super impressed with this. So let me clear off this desk, put the camera overhead, and I will show you how I hook this up and how it sounds. All right, so now I've got the Mayono caster set here on the table with a lot of cables going in and out. So let's talk about what I have hooked up. Over here we have the microphone cable that's just running off with a little bit of slack and then coming up into the microphone right here which I've got, hold on, there you go, got mounted into the stand. This is really sturdy. I really like how it feels and how solid it is on the base. It's not getting pulled off the table by the excess cord and uh, it feels like it's going to keep it secure. In the front I have a headphone cable going to a pair of monitoring headphones that I'm wearing. You do have two monitor outputs so if you're hosting with someone else they can hear as well. You've got your auxiliary cable or auxiliary cable, I don't know how to say it, right here. This is going to my phone so we can play back some music in just a moment. And then this is the USB cable running to the computer so that uh, I can record this into Audacity, which is the program I'm using now. But if you were streaming to uh, Facebook, uh, Zoom, anything like that, this would just run to your computer and you would adjust uh, the settings in the software of choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a little bit away from me and I'm going to pull this microphone in front of my face and I'm going to switch the audio over to the included microphone in three, two, one. All right, here we go. So this is the audio coming in to the included uh, microphone with this kit. Now, it sounds pretty good. One thing you're going to notice is that uh, the bass does pick uh, the bass of the unit, the stand, does pick up a little bit of noise. You might hear that tapping. The noise cancellation does a pretty good job of removing it, but just be aware some audio is transmitted 
through here. Now let's start going through the features of this unit. Off to the left, uh, my left, I guess is the user. You're gonna see your two microphone controls. You've got your volume, a mute button. So if I click that, you don't hear me anymore. You have 48V, which is on on this channel. That's the phantom power powering this condenser microphone. And then you've got your gain right here with a little light that says PK and PK is peak. And this makes sure that I'm not overdriving the microphone input. It's green, which means that I'm good. If I turn this gain up too high, that'll start turning red. And the appropriate level to set this is just to the point where you're starting to hit a little bit of red on the light, back it off so that you're not hitting any more red. And that's a good level of gain. And then I leave that there and I can use this volume slider to adjust the volume. Uh, as I see fit for my show. And I've got that same control duplicated over here for the second microphone input. Um, to the right of that, you've got a little battery indicator right here. And this unit is being powered by the internal battery right now, which I love. You can take this on the go, take it anywhere. It's a really compact, nice unit to do a podcast in a remote location. And a lot of um, mixers don't have that battery power. So it's good to see. Below that, we've got our phone input and our aux input. They each have their own mute button. And these little volume controls are for taking phone calls in the case of the phone input and an aux input for playing music from a device. So I have my phone right here. If I click play on that and start bringing this up, you can hear a little bit of music there. So you can overlay some music for your podcast, right? So that's really handy to have. I'm gonna bring it back down so I don't get any copyright claims there. You can do a nice smooth fade with that, which is something that I love. Below that, you have three controls, monitor, pitch, and effect. Monitor controls the volume in the headphones, which is what I'm hearing right now, so I can adjust my own headphone volume and hear more or less. Uh, I think it controls both monitor outputs simultaneously, so if you're podcasting with someone else, hopefully your headphones have similar volume levels because you can't control them independently. That would be nice to see in future versions. Then we have the pitch button and the effect button. We're going to talk about those in a second. And then below that, the mix. This is the master volume going out of the USB uh, output to the computer. So all of the mics, phones, everything, you can control that through the master right here. So I can go left or right and bring that up or down. And that should uh, change your output to your computer. Now the pitch button is exactly what it says. It's pitching my voice up and down. So if I move that light talk, it'll start going lower and lower and lower and higher and higher. And now I'm back to normal. And there's an indentation in the middle. So you know where the middle is and then take, take it up, up, take it up, take it up and uh, higher and lower and lower. Okay. So kind of gimmicky, but you do have that option. Effect is going to control the volume of, uh, or no, excuse me, not the volume, the wet dry, which is the amount of effect applied to the vocals. So right now I have it just in the middle. And as I apply some of these effects over here, it will add that to my voice in a ratio of normal to effect that's 50 50. Okay. So if I click, for example, we've got six effects here, female, you can probably guess what that's going to do. It's going to make my voice higher. I don't think it sounds like a female, but there you go. You also have baby, which is even higher. All right, so here's baby, female, normal, okay? It does the same thing as the pitch knob, except you don't have to twist anything, you just click the button. Now male is gonna go lower, and robot is gonna be even lower. So if you wanna do a ransom note, and uh, or an ominous online video, you can use the robot button. But I'm not gonna use that. Okay, we've got music only and sidechain. They do exactly what they say. Music only, you click that, it's gonna cut out your mics, just play your music from your input. And sidechain is a little more advanced. We're not gonna go into that in this video. Now, below those six effect pads, you have eight sample pads, and four of these come preloaded. So if I click one. A few moments later. All right, here's the other ones. Classic little air horn. Okay. All right. And these ones don't have anything. You can load sounds onto these via the, uh, oh, excuse me. We've got right here. All right, we got a bleep button. I forgot this one has a bleep button. So you can be like, what the And you know, you can add that in there for, you know, kicks and giggles. But um, so four here plus a beat button. These ones don't have anything. You can add stuff on via a program that Mayono offers. Um, I have not done that in this video, but it seems fairly easy to do based off the uh, other reviews and things that I've seen. So four built in plus a bleep button. Nice to have. Um, they're not too bad. I mean, I would prefer these ones. Okay. Over like gunshots and I don't know, rubber ducks or whatever the freaking weird things I have on some of these other controllers. Um, I honestly probably wouldn't even use effects in my videos, but you have the option. Now up at the top, you can see I've got my two monitors right here to see what my levels are. Mic is the microphone input. So if I bring the microphone down, that's gonna start going down, going down, going down. And the mix is the volume going to the computer. So 
I can leave the microphone up and then take the mix down and that will get lower and lower and bring it back and so you can hear me. Okay, so you can monitor those individually. The microphone is for both inputs. You don't, you're again not able to separate mic one and mic two. Um, let me turn that a little bit more. Um, so on the back, there's one other control here, which is the noise cancellation. And it's pretty essential to have it on. If I turn it off, let me, there we go. Now you're picking up a lot more of the room noise, right? So um, the echoey nature of my office with no treatment on the walls, any sounds for me touching things, it picks up. As soon as I turn that noise cancellation on, you don't hear that as much, right? It's definitely, it's less, okay? So um, up in this little screen, we do wanna go over the, uh, one more thing. So you've got mode here. Uh, mode, I think adds reverb to your vocal. So it's on studio right now. This is KTV. This is church. This is hall. This is valley, which is insane. This is room, which seems to be the lightest of them all. And then studio is just your plain dry vocals. Um, some of these are kind of crazy. And you can't go backwards. You have to go all the way through back to studio. Okay. And then electron is a fancy word, a no copyright word for uh, auto tune. So if I click this, um, now it puts on auto tune. It's in A. So the key of A, if you want to sing a song in A, it, it will auto tune it. And you can choose from all the different keys B flat, B, C. I'm not going to sing for you. Okay. If I click mode again, It'll go back to studio and take it off of the uh, auto tune. So that's all the features of this. And in all honesty, it's a ton for the money and it's rugged. It's compact. I love that it's battery powered. You've got multiple inputs and outputs. So for a small podcast or a solo or a duo, you really don't need more than this. And the quality of the audio in the microphone and um, the mixer, you know, it's not $400 share microphone, but it's good for the money. You know, there's plenty of USB microphones that cost this much and you don't get a podcast studio. So this is going to get thumbs up for me compared to the other Mayono, uh, Mayono Caster Lite, I think is what the other one was that I reviewed. I like this form factor. It feels more substantial to me. It doesn't uh, have Bluetooth for the phone, which is interesting that in this product, they wouldn't include that, but they wouldn't the other. But that's really the only omission. Um, I like sliders. I like this volume knob. And I'm going to give this two thumbs up. I think it's a good product and I think it's worth picking up. If you're getting into podcasting and uh, you don't really know where to start, this includes everything in the box. It's plug and play. You put the USB in your computer and uh, you can start broadcasting right away. Now, um, I already mentioned things that I, I would change about it. I would love individual volume controls for the monitors. I would love uh, to be able to apply the effects individually to different microphones. You know, there's a few different things, but on the whole, it's a great, great setup. So as always, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll include a link down in the description of the video. You can buy through there and support the channel. Um, I would appreciate you for it. And if you are not looking to pick one of these up today, that's fine. Just subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe notification bell. You know, it helps everyone ask you to do it. And uh, I can keep bringing you awesome content. Now, thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.